Welcome to Toffee TV. It's a daily live vixen. We were supposed to go live at one, but someone forgot. <laughs> and it wasn't me or Baz. No. So. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, we're here now. Yeah. We're here now. It is match day. Everton versus Dynamo Kiev. Well, again. Looking forward mm-hmm. to it. Are you looking mm-hmm. forward to it? No. No. Not particularly. It's, okay. it's a game of football that involves Evan. I generally don't look forward to those. Okay. That's fine. No. Ask the question. You know. You've answered it. Mm. Fair enough. Mm. Do you think we will see Salt and Vinegar and Dwight McNeil play? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. At some stage. I'm sure we will. Yeah. I think Dwight McNeil trained with the first team yesterday and, and so... Should play. Should play. Well, should be should be off, Should come off the bench, shouldn't he? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. At some point. And I'm sure... Sure the same of... Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. New Portuguese left back, mm. so fair enough. Fair play. Shouldn't be any reason why not. Fair enough. They've been both, I imagine, both been training. I mean, Dwight McNeil will have been training for anyway, yeah. the game tonight for Burnley, wouldn't he? So, mm. so we should be ready to go. We should be. They peak. start tonight, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Mm. The big one. Interesting. I'm sure, that's the one the Piv will be watching. Yeah, that'll be the big one That'll for be him. The big one. Yeah, it's not interesting then. What is it now? The XT. Did you say? Oh, mate, he's got everything. The XT. XT, XT, XT. The XT. He's going to be the X I pity the, I pity the fella. The XWL the XT. will be Aldi walk out the tunnel. He walked out a little bit fast here. Shows they're not ready for the, the consistency. They will. They'll start, they'll start measuring the gate soon. You it watch. is. Now, to be fair, it is It is fascinating now just how big... Is it fascinating? Would it be more I'll, fascinating or less fascinating if he wasn't sitting on the couch? No, it is fascinating. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, well, I'll be sitting down with the piff and his mate to do something. <laughs> his something. mate? Yeah. Uh, Business partner, Big Tim. He's coming in. To, no, you see, uh, no. But on Zoom, it'll be good. Talk about the depths that uh, football clubs go to, to good, when they're looking, after, looking to sign players. be very interesting. Um, do Everton go to those depths? Ever. Are like, they just in the shallow just end? Just in the shallows. <laughs> Evan are never going full Lady Gaga did, did, did you get that thing where you get in the bath where you put your legs in and see if it's warm but the minute it's your bollocks touch it yeah. you're getting out <laughs> you're gone it's what Evan they're like um, <laughs> Steve P said the <laughs> thing that put me off Barkley wasn't the money part it was how he spoke about the club when he left in an interview at Redknapp talked like we were up, he was above us and we held him back fair, fair enough that's fair enough mm. that's a good enough reason as any mm. Exactly. Harry says you lads going for, to the game tonight. We are. Yep. We are. Sophie says excited for Goodison tonight. We should be off the rat and try for McKenny. <laughs> Don't you want thirty million for Western McKenny? Isn't Western McKenny very much like Delhi Alley? Oh, he's hard worker. <laughs> no, he's not. He's involved in the game more. Okay. But, but Everton had the opportunity to have Western McKenny when John Joe Kenny was at Schalke. The swap deal was there. Swap him and five million, I think it was, and we we <laughs> sat on our hands as pay, oh, and we ended up losing John Joe Kenny for nothing anyway. When at that time, Schalke thought he was good, we could have got money for him. Mm. So oh, well, but hey ho, that was it. But what can you do? Mm. He'd have to stop eating those cheeseburgers, though, wouldn't he, McKenny? He does like a cheeseburger. Yeah, he does love a cheeseburger. Mm. Like mm. the Italians couldn't believe how fat he was. <laughs> they couldn't. It's on the documentary. Yeah, no, no, no. They were the literally just like they, they, was, they were like you, you little fat boy. Yeah. That's what they were literally saying to him. Yeah, he loved his pizzas no, and no. his burgers too much. Yeah. He was like get on the pasta. Lad. He told him he had to get on the pasta, didn't he? Buffon was laughing at him, money. Hmm. Couldn't believe it. Um, Phil Cinema Cave says, Do you think we'll get Ghana? Um, training on his own. He today. is training on his own. And he's out of Paris today. How does that work, though? If you've got loads of players that you want to get rid of, do they all train on their own or do they train on their own together? Therefore, not training on their own. Well, they're not going to be training on their own anyway, are they? Because in general, they train like the, the younger players. Yeah. But training away from the, the, yeah, the, the group. The is group. what it is. The, the group, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't, listen, I don't know. Because ultimately, he was supposed to be going to Turkey, wasn't he? Um, but they probably balked at what he probably wants financially. Or I thought he had said he turned them down. No, no, that's what I'm saying. They mm. might have been, I don't know. <clears throat> but... 
I'm sure in the next week there'll be more takers for them and, and it'll be down to how serious they have now, what, what they can give them, I suppose. Mm. I'm not sure. Will it, will, will it really matter that he played for us? Well, mate, probably because obviously he know he knows the city. Um, <laughs> Still got a tunnel pass. <laughs> yes, he's gone as fast sack. Yeah, so I'm sure that gives us a little bit of a head start if we want it. And then, but you got to bring all the other things into it, then, haven't you? Thirty-three year old. What are you? What are you? Thirty-two offering? at the moment. Isn't well, what is he? Thirty-three. You, you get him into a contract. He'd be thirty-three. Um, what are you offering him? What are you giving him? Are you taking him on loan? Are you giving him a normal fee? Are you taking over his wages, which I imagine would be huge, being a Palace and your man player? So, it's not. It's not exactly. Um, it's thirty-three in September. It's not exactly a big step forward, is it? It's, but, I think we've established that Everton aren't. Clearly going after twenty three year olds from France and Austria and Belgium. Yeah. They're, they're obviously just trying to grab what they can f- f- in a bit of a panic. So Well they've got a they've obviously got a smoke, which we've said before, hence the Dwight McNeil, why that was was so attractive to them, the small down payment. Mm. Um and pay, pay the rest over a five year deal. So fifteen million plus add ons when you're paying a small down payment becomes you're getting a, a Premier League player mm-hmm. for three and a half million quid or whatever mm-hmm. it was if you're trying to get one of these up and coming players in France they're probably going to be wanting eight, nine, ten million as a down payment yeah, yeah. and then spread the rest of, of the cost um, unless you're actually going for ones which are a gamble which might cost you eight to ten mm. um, and then it's the gamble thing I'd rather us gamble to be honest a little bit on certainly on a couple because mm. as well as getting Ghana I would be trying to get a younger player in that mode as well, uh, which is a gamble, but for three, four million quid. And they're all, they've just seen, I said yesterday, we've just seen three fullbacks go move in France for all less than five million quid. I mean, Fulham got one of them. It was obviously from Germany and Babu, but people like Dubois moved for four million quid, I think. I think me and Andy done something on him a couple of years ago. Um, so there's value out there. Of course there is. There's value. Everton probably looking and going, well, what can we kind of... It's consistency levels, I think, Everton are looking for. And I think Everton will look at Garner and go, for two years, he's gonna. we know what we're kind of getting at him. He's busy, you, he knows the club, and we know he can go in right now. How much, though, do you think that the stadium plays a part in this of, like, the great reset in two years? Do you think Everton are looking at the stadium and thinking, well... Financial fair play will will be helped massively by that, and they're just just trying to get like little these little deals for the next couple of years without thinking long term, to because the stadium will allow them to start using that capital. Mm, I don't know. I don't. I'm not saying that's the way they yeah, should be yeah. thinking. I'm saying, do you think that's the way they I, do think? Nah, I don't. It's hard to say because obviously Kevin Thelwell's just come in. I think for him. And for Frank Lampard. No, forget Kevin. Forget those people because they're not. I don't think. What yeah, about, yeah, but they, they're the no, people I know, who are doing the planning. But now. the people above them, though, Dick, like, do you think the way they look at it is, is that like that's the no, get think, out of well, jail I, free yeah, I card? Think, I think they think when we get to the stadium, there'll be more funds. Mm. Of course, there will be because it's a bigger stadium. There's more uh, commercial opportunity for it. Name and rights and all of that, more sponsors, so more money will be flowing through Higher the football price club. Exactly. So they will make more money. So yes, finances will be free when they get to the stadium. Of course they will, and hopefully Everton will have addressed at the other end. The wage bill mm. will be trimmed, and therefore more. The more you cut, more money sloshes round, which makes it easier to manage. I think just right now, I think Everton are dealing with with the reality of. A pot of money and, <coughs> and they're trying to spread it as best they can. And if they look and see Ghana and, and can get them in, they know what they're kind of getting mm-hmm. with them. There's nothing to say we won't go after another midfielder as well. A young one, mm-hmm. you know, it depends what pops up towards the end of the window, of course. It does, or if Everton can move Andre Gomez out, or Everton can, you know, someone comes and has a bite at Allen from Italy who. Mm-hmm. You know, he's had a little bit of interest, whether Alan would be interested, who knows, but if he did, then all of a sudden those wages go back in and you go, well, we've got a bit more money here, we can go and try for this fella. Because they were, 
very, very interested in Oh Nana. Oh Nana. Just keep it going each day. They were very interested in him, mm. but obviously they want 30 million quid, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Evan are paying 30 million. No, no, I just go back to last summer. I just go back to the what happened last summer. With, mm. with, if you're going to buy a point in Rafa Benitez, you're looking at, like we said last year, like three years of just keeping keeping everything um, on a level, on a on a on a just a get through the next three years. And I don't, I, for me, I don't really think much is much has changed apart from obviously the manager and the director of football. But I just, I just don't. The, the nothing's changed in terms of where we're really looking for players. Now, I know it's too soon for Kevin Farewell because he hasn't been at the club that long. Um, and maybe you know, long you need long term planning when you're signing because you're bringing these players in, like you said before, like your cheap imports who are going to give you long t- long term um, value. You've got to be quick off the mark, haven't you? You've got to establish, obviously, um, that they're good enough and you do all your due diligence on them. And I don't, whether, I don't know whether Kevin Fell was had a lot, enough time. I'm sure Andy would tell me whether he whether that's enough time or not for four or five months. You know, you you scout these players over the course of a season. I'd imagine and put put try and put the deal together. So it just feels like it. It feels like it was last summer where we're just we're just grabbing the things to just keep everything together I for now. Yeah. Uh, Possibly, yeah. Possibly because the because the stadium is the the well whichever way you look at it, whether you say to get out of jail card or whether you the it's the the next stage of Everton, next evolution of Everton. It just feels like. Anything really long term is on hold till till we get it because that does that does open the the finances in terms of mm. certainly in terms of FFP anyway. I think the other thing as well is obviously we've just been very we just had a big scare, haven't we? Mm. You know, so therefore the manager will want players in who he knows can do jobs. If Evan have got a framework, they might be looking and going, "Well, Garner fits that what we want in a number six there, and we'll have a look around and see what else is there." But if we can get him in. Then we'll get him in, and, and mm. he goes into the he goes straight in the side basically, because there's no one in our squad who does that job. No, at the no, moment. no. And then if you can move a couple out, then maybe one of those becomes the long term. Then you mm. look and go, ah, we've got that money now. The fella we've been looking at, or you go, we're gonna watch him till January, and, and we go for him in January. If Everton got Garner in, and then ended up with Brozier, then I think I think the I think they've done all right. Yeah, there's in not, terms of just leveling not, the squad. There's though. not. There aren't many assets on the pitch, though, are they? That's that's half no, the problem, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but I suppose people are looking. Say Godfrey's an asset, whether you agree with it or not. I think Newcastle have, have moved around and think Spurs like the look of him, so he's an asset, isn't he? Um, you're hoping that the likes of Nathan Patterson grows into that young lad, and you've got. Um, Dominic Calvert Lewin's obviously an asset, big asset. You know, so we know where we know what it is. We know where the issues are. You know, you've got young lads who like Anthony Anthony Gordon's an asset because people will if Everton put him up for sale, they'd get bids for him of of twenty plus million for Anthony Gordon, who's come through the the academy. Mm-hmm. So he is an asset as well. Um, it's difficult, I think, as a fan to look at it like that. To look and go, well, what are you on about with assets? You know, we don't, we don't want to sell all our good players, but that's football. No, I don't think to, it's about to be a value. I don't think it's about sell, selling players. As no, such. but it's about having the value. It's about the, having the, the. It's about having a. You know, the next lot, isn't it? It's about having the players and then the players underneath them. So you know, you are when you are when they are ready, ready. Then you've got the next lot coming after them. But there is players there. No, my, there's people like Reese Welch. No, I know, but the pro- what Sorry, I'm saying is, is that was that the, the gap. What I'm saying is, you, the, obviously, the more older players you bring in, then you've got that bigger gap, then mm. haven't you? Mm. So when you know the the core eight, Allen, if you were to get guy, you know, this three three midfielders, and you're like, well, where's the ones if they're done in a year or two years? Mm. Where's the ones after that? Oh, okay. And that's 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 the that's a big that's issue the, the thing. Moment, so isn't it? that's what I'm saying. If we could get if we got Garner in, then really. We should be looking to move mm. Alan out. Mm. I like Alan; he's been a decent signing for us. Not not amazing, mm. but we should be looking to move him out then, because he's you know. Was he Wouldn't we just game. be putting ourselves in the same situation? Well, though? We would, but 
but we'd have someone if Valen could do what Ghana does, we you no know, reason to go for Ghana, would there? There'd be literally no, zero no, but, reason. But we haven't got anybody that does. No, that no, job. but that's isn't that so isn't that part at, of the reason then to keep Alan because then they don't actually do the same job. No, because we've got other players. In have team. we though? Really? Have we though? I'd get shut. No, but uh, what I'm saying is, who, we're only ever gonna play no, but who, two of that type. I know, of but how many times do we say that and we end up we no, end up we with will. In players being injured? I'm and just stuff. telling you. Have a squad. Will. Yeah, but if we want to get rid of Andre Gomez and we don't particularly think Tom Davis is good enough, yeah, but Tom Davis won't be going anyway. So, but, so, so where, where's yeah, there. but where's the other midfielders? Who are the other midfielders? Well, he said. I mean, he said this morning how accurate it is. This report today that. Uh, Everton and trend I've said Lewis Warrington ain't going anywhere. He's going to be in the squad, but he's not good enough. No, I'm, hey, I'm just saying what was what. No, I know, but he ain't good enough. <clears throat> he might be, he might be with twenty appearance off the bench. He might start mm. looking. Mm. I'm not saying he is. By the way, I'm just mm. saying they're the things. I just think the way Everton set up, Alex Awobi will become a centre midfield player. Delhi maybe will be the ten in that. I think we're only ever going to play with the, with two. And it might be in a double pivot, whatever it is. I think if if Evan have the opportunity mm. to move Alan's wages, out, he will. Because it's about reduce. At the end of the day, yeah, yeah. we're losing money, so we've got to reduce the wage bill, and we've got we can't have players in our squad on big wages that aren't guaranteed starters. No, I don't. I don't Does think he's Alan a getting I don't think your he's a... best eleven. I haven't got a best eleven. I don't think anyone okay. should have a best eleven. All right, but I don't think Alan will get in Frank Lampard's first eleven. Mm. Especially if he gets Garner. I don't think he gets anywhere near it. I think he'd be sub. I think you need subs, though. I oh, think you need... Of course you, you do, need... but... But Everton might move him out and then go and bring a younger player in, in midfield. Now you are talking madness. <laughs> but that's what should happen. That's Everton. what should happen. That's what should happen. Now you've jumped the shot. You know, the whole thing is we've got to get rid of... Yeah, and Andre Gomez is the biggest. Yeah, Gomez is the got big to one, go. And that's big wages. But the manager's already established that he needs to go. Yeah. Doesn't he? He's not hasn't given him a minute in pre season. Mm. Obviously, he's Jean Philippe Gabama. What happens with him? I don't know because I don't know what position he's in. I don't know where he's played he is. twice in America. Yeah, yeah. But didn't feature at Blackpool. He likes America. He played in America last year. He did. He, he, he likes the warm climate. But Blackpool was quite warm Sunday, so. But he didn't feature on Sunday. So if Everton told him he's going as well. But okay. So if him and Gomez go out the door, then yeah, Alan probably might have to stay. But I'd still, for me, I'd still be looking at younger. And if we got a bite on Alan, then maybe you take it to reduce the wage bill. Mm. And maybe Warrington does become a sub and, and someone who comes on every now and again. I don't think Warrington's anywhere near the level. No, I don't, I, I don't either. But we've let on Yango go out. So I'm just looking at num- sheer numbers. Alex Awobi will be... I think will be considered as a centre midfield player for Everton this season. Um, so we'll have to see. It's, I, I've said all summer we need the two centre midfield players, even with what we had. So if we get Garner, we for me we still need another one. Mm. We let two or three go that we could have got for decent money. We let them move elsewhere. Mm. We're still in that, you know. We're still in the. In the position where people like Mo Camera are still around, but they cost money. If your wage bill, if you're up against it with your wage bill, or you're trying to reduce that, and then you're trying to raise six, seven, eight million to put as a down payment, and you have to. No, make, I mean if Alan, if you were to get rid of Alan and you got another one in, then I can see understand the sense of that, but I couldn't understand the sense of bringing Garner in and letting Alan go. Because I, I just don't think we've got the numbers in centre midfield. I really don't. For the for the for the for the whole of a season, I just where then we are in that position, though, like you were saying before. Where we've got and there's going to be we'll have a thirty year old under court. No, I know, but that, that's that's I'm talking about practical. I'm talking about practical. Alan Garn. Yeah, but I'm talking about, talking about in terms of being practical because this season, even though there's a six week gap or whatever it is. There's gonna be a lot of games on top of each other, mm-hmm. which is gonna which is gonna for players it in the thirties. Or, or, or in the thirties, mm. you know that's going to push those players. Yeah. You know, yeah, we already know that you look at someone like Yerry Mina they ain't going to be able to play Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, and you're gonna you're gonna have to we're gonna have to start if we have got you know Garnet or or the Corey, you can't put too much workload on them. You're gonna have to swap people in now for them. So I think we have to just be careful that we don't 
just get rid of players for the sake of it by just saying, well, that's going to satisfy the wage bill. I think we've got to be just be a little bit careful. I get it with Gomez because he offers nothing except for hugs, and they are nice hugs. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting, interesting next few weeks. Mm-hmm. Rossi says Calvert Lewin, an asset, really. Well, he is, isn't he? If Everton pull him up for sale, do you get 40? Ned, 40 million. Green Bailey, Everton are in advance talks with Chelsea to sign Ross Barkley. The midfielder is keen for a return to Everton, with the clubs now just needing to agree on small details. Back to Calvert Lewin. Um, signed them for a million quid. So you get 40 odd million for him. That's an asset, isn't it? So whether well, you rate him or you don't rate him, he's an asset. He's an so asset. I know. He's got the potential to be going the World Cup. And then a good start to the Gerald season. says already doubting. Warrington. I don't know whether I don't people... think we're doubting him. No. You can you're allowed, you are whether allowed, he's ready or not. You're allowed to say when kids are not ready. You can't you don't you know, you if he's a young lad, he needs time. Tyron Youngo has just gone on loan to, to Burton. Mm. He looks a great he looks a hell of a hell of potential, but he's not ready yet. No. You know Ella, all I've been all I was hearing last season was get Ella Sims in the team. He's nowhere he's nowhere near a Premier League striker. Seen him against Chelsea, stood in the same why, spot. Why he's on loan now at Sunderland? Because exactly. it's got a, he's now Sun- it's his next level. He does well yeah. this year. He gets fifteen goals, eighteen goals in the championship. I know it's you know it's it, you can we all can get. It. I used to do it when I was young. I used to see all these players and I'd see them in pre season, and then they'd end up getting released and then they're up at Chester, and mm. you go, what happened there? You know, I remember some brilliant. Alex Smith was the best left back I'd ever he seen. Was, yeah. Don't think he ever had a career, mm. but that's what happens, kids. What? Ha- but this is what happens. We build them up. We throw them in the first team. They're not physically ready, and we all go, "You're shite." And that's what happens. That's what happens every year, and that's why other clubs drip, drip, drip. Send them on loan. Might give them a little bit of time back on loan, and then we we'll see. And and you know what? As well, you, you'll find out whether the player's good enough. And if they do something at the club they've gone to, you might get a good fee for them, rather than them being stuck in the under twenty ones where no one can see them, they never get games, they get to 27 years of age and you're letting them go to Shrewsbury. We'll just give Nathan Broadhead another two-year deal. The lad's 24, mm-hmm. he's going to be 26. It's yeah. like, what? and I know Everton might be doing that because they think they'll get money for him. Mm-hmm. But that lad needs to get on with his career. Just got, he, had, he was injured last season, mm-hmm. a lot for Sunderland, but he got one and two for Sunderland in the league, in league one. Yeah. So he's got to get on with his career. We kept well, Massey was, Pennington yeah. till he was 27, Luke Garber, Garber till he was 27. And the thing about it is, out of your twenty ones, if you if you get one or two in your first team, it's been incredible. And yet people go, Oh, well, does these yeah. six or seven are gonna be in our first team? They're not. The thing about it is, is is it's not always about how good they are as well. It's how physically how physically strong they are. In the Premier League, you have to be able to take that ball and hold that person off at the same time and make an angle yeah. at the same time. You've got to be clever, fast and strong, mm. all in the same same mm, movement. Yeah. And some kids are just not ready for that. You know, when young goes gone away and he's doing his own private training. It's a lad who's six for five. Yeah, he's massive. We've seen him. He's mm. massive. But he's skinny as anything. Mm. And he's he's going in there when think look at some look at Tarkovsky, right? Look at him. Look look at he's like a tree. Yeah. He's just come in, he's like a tree. And that's what Premier that they're not just athletes. They've got to be more than athletes. They need pace. Mm. They need power, strength. The, I bet you every time one of them hit you, I bet you feel it in your ribs. Mm. Every time Big there's an lads, arm in yeah. your elbow. Big lads. And these, you've got to take, be able to take it. You watch Lewis Warrington play for Tramia and watch how he just all that space he has in the middle of the park and he looks great. But the minute the minute you enter the Premier League, number one, you okay, sometimes you get more time in the Premier League, but everything's got to be precise. You've got to be sharp. You've got to smash balls into players, mm-hmm. and they and they you're gonna have the ball smashed at you. Mm-hmm. And can you take that ball and move it at the same time? It it it's what we were talking about the other day, wasn't it? It's one of the things that Tom Davis struggled with last season was because they changed the rules and the fouls. He was he couldn't get away from people, and in what he the what he'd become used to was going down and winning the foul, and the foul wasn't there anymore because it wasn't classed as a foul anymore. These players, there's a lot of talented players that just don't make it because they just don't have that first, that first touch that gets them away from a player. So, get him a good loan, get him a good loan where he's going to grow and play. That was I what was for go- Warrington League, League One or the Championship. Now will be a really good. Mm. But Everton, like I said, it sounds like Everton are keeping them, which is fine. They might yeah. be work on them every day. There's no well, issue you, with that. Listen, but some younger players do need the loan because it's part of your development. You can train every day. 
Yeah. You can, you know, work with the first team and all that's brilliant, but it all comes down to the, the pressure of games with the crowd when it means it's something. Tactical as well, isn't it? Look at mm. look at look at Anthony Gordon. He got in the got inside under Carlo, and you could hear Carlo shouting at him all the time. Get back, get back, get in your shape. So he goes on loan. Didn't really do much because he was getting injured all the time because he physically wasn't up to it. Mm. Comes back, but he says starts giving him m- probably more. Uh, tactical nous, and he's drip, 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 drip into the team, and suddenly he went from a player that looked like he was going to go out on loan to a player the manager suddenly thought, "I can do something with him." So listen, Warrington, they might they they might think Warrington has that intelligence where yeah. where he can, but it's not going to be straight off the bat. It's not going to be on day one. You're going into you're going into the side, and or you're coming off the bench. It might be a fact they might look at it and go, you know, we've seen this. Listen, I'm not comparing the plays, but this is what this is what Pep Guardiola did with Foden because he recognised the talent and he put him around good players. And instead mm. of sending them on loan like everybody said, he's like, no, I'll play, get him used to it, get him to speed. Mm. I'm not saying no way the same, but sometimes when they stay and they train with those fair, the problem with that, problem is they are training with Everton players. Maybe we could send Lewis Wellington to train with Man City players and suddenly be a good player. People are quick. <laughs> uh, yeah. JW says, all right, lads, I'm in Mexico and it's 7.30am, but not a chance I'm missing this. Nice one, Good JW, on is right, lad. Uh, Dev says, great to meet you guys at the Mall of America. Got my picture with Baz and even saw to the great Ned. My girlfriend didn't even have to use her pepper spray either. Right, you you, you nice would strong, be happy mate. that you didn't get a picture with me on that day. Yeah, you weren't good, were you? Uh, Chen Lars says, pretty sure I'm getting sacked for going to this game because my manager wouldn't let me go. Don't care if it's a friendly, we better win now. <laughs> Don't care if it's a friendly. Why, 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 why better, we, better we win? Because he, he's risked losing his it's job friendly, to go on whatever. He wants to win. Well, obviously, obviously he is. Well, that's on his, that's on his head, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Liam says up the top. He's Danilov says, hey, greetings from Sweden. Come on, you blues tonight. That's right, mate. Uh, Lozen just says, uh, not being excited about McNeil is fine, but some of the comments on the Twitter announcement are ridiculous. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Julian says, uh, afternoon, lads. I know he comes with baggage, but I'd be happy if Ross Barkley returns as the midfield desperately needs improving. If it's true Ken Wright and Mishiri aren't happy, then maybe it's a sign Frank and Kevin are getting their way. It's ironic because of Ken Wright and Mishiri's mismanagement, we now have to consider players like Ross. Glad you made it through Dublin Airport. Okay. Cheers, Julian. Uh, Stuart says, I seem to be the only Evertonian excited by Dwight McNeil. We needed another... I don't know, Dave. Dave Witt is excited. Yeah. Uh, we needed another left footer in midfield. Check. We need bodies in midfield with Prem experience. Let's not forget he also played under Dice, so we're probably not allowed much creativity. I can't wait to see him on our side. There you go. Mm. Derek says, what a start to the show. Uh, Anthony says, Baz, anything in Holgate to West Ham? They've made an inquiry whether anything goes on from there. I've no idea, Anthony. Um, I'm a bit... Uh, yeah, a Everton bit. are now being linked with Batashai. I've seen that. <laughs> We've been linked with them every single transfer window for about 10 years. So, um, I would have thought Michael Keane was more... David Moyes is kind of centre back, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, Danny says it'd be disappointing to waste our loan players away, uh, places away on a left back, a backup left back, and Ross Barkley. It's two from, it's four altogether, isn't it? Two from here and two from Europe. Yeah, two domestic, and so there's four loan places down. Um, but you can't so, yeah. loan two from the same team. There's that change now, aren't it? So it's just one in it. So if we got Barkley, then Brozier would have to be a fee and Everton ever now pushing to sign him permanently, I believe. So but depends what they want. Barkley would be a free, wouldn't it? If they just want him gone. So Ross has only got eleven months left anyway, he wouldn't be they wouldn't do it as a loan. I think they'd just be like take him if you want. Um I hope there's money there, but just waiting for the right deals. Guy Barkley and Bros you would represent a decent window, I think. Uh, Steve says or uh, afternoon lads a rare occasion I've been able to watch you live. Um because of work recently, off today enjoying doing shot all. Uh, any decent Kiev players we can grab that they'd love to stay here rather than go back to a war zone. Where did they mm. play their Champions League game? Was it Switzerland? They only played two days ago, didn't they? They won two mm. one. 
which was bop. Be funny, wasn't it? Because they were all singing. Turkish fans were all singing like Putin songs, Putin and songs. then they scored. They scored to win two one. So. That's right. Um, Grey Lee says I'm hoping it's keen to West Ham instead. Uh, think if Everton are only going after closer to home players, then Everton seriously needs up their scouting department. I, yeah, it just I guess it just depends what what's available, doesn't it? Mm. I can't believe that Everton haven't got um, links and and reports on players all over Europe. I just I refuse to accept it. What they do with that, I don't know. Uh, Danny Wouldn't there be a process in place though that would be, like we were saying earlier, a process that would take longer than what Kevin Fell was being in? Possibly, yeah. I mean, I, and 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 it might be a case that we would, that. we would. This is a summer that we just we were never going to well, buy maybe, those kind yeah, of players. Maybe it's maybe there's a maybe they've put the you know the. He's looking at me. Things he's not giving me much feedback. Oh, well, So I think what they've looked at is probably, and in this probably comes from money on the board, that they need to make sure that they still get yeah. players in the next season. So taking gambles is probably not working out, which you partly get, which comes back to the thing about Alan before. The reason I would keep Alan is, like Ted said, if you're desperate to stay up, you need players. We've had this problem before where we bought Tagore, uh, Ames, and Alan, and once a couple of them got injured that season, mm. it was the tail spin. Mm. So you need to have that back up. And I think Alan. Whether you like him or not, it's still better than Tom Davis. Mm. So, mm. Just, I don't even need the wages off as well, but just so good. So, basically, yeah, Andy's saying off camera <laughs> it's about staying up, really, first, because it's planning affects the planning. And maybe this summer wasn't the summer for gambling. Like and you what you were saying there about, about Alan, it's a, it, I suppose that's a, like a double effect, isn't it? Because if you are, if you are looking for replacements then you have this year to replace him and then knowing that his wages come off I mean you'd love a fee for him but if his wages are coming off at the end of the season anyway then you've got that season to scout his replacements mm. and his wages coming off anyway you know you're not having to sell him at the end of the season like you are with Andre Gomez I know that's not that's not exactly what you want because you want his wages gone but he's still a player he doesn't sit there and do nothing mm. he is well, forget this Alan's like a, Alan is a first choice player to play for the first team and what we know what, what, right now he's fit. Right now, Alan goes into our first team, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Probably, probably yeah. It's like this. So you get ten million fee for him. His, his wages about four million. It's four versus ten, really. Is keeping four million pounds worth of wages worth it to secure a couple of reports and then you have to see hmm. play off the bounce? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry for money, you call it. <laughs> No, I, I, I still think they'll let him go. No, no, but right now, does Alan start in Everton's first team? Probably, yeah. Not, he's not fit, is he? So no, what I mean, you know what I mean? A, he's, yeah. he's a starter, but isn't he? He's in a three, yeah. No, I'm not two, I was one. In in a, a two. But who will play in a two then? I, don't, I just I wouldn't have him in a two. Yeah, but who will play in a two then? I'd have the Corey, a Wobie. In a two? In Get a slaughtered two. with Alan. In a, in a two. two. Evidence is there all season. See, I wouldn't play. I wouldn't play three up front though. I'd have three, three midfield. No, no, no. Just I just think. The thing. I just think right. I think right now. I think Alan would play because he's he's. I like the thing very, is, I like Alan. He's, he's, he's a good player. He's one of things very mobile. One of only a, a few of players that we have who are who've got that little bit of bite. Mm. No, no, isn't it's he? Just that he likes to go and chase the ball when you need someone. No, there's holes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know, but just watch Everton when Garner's playing, where Everton when Alan's playing. Yeah, but Garner doesn't big rectangle in front of the back. Garner doesn't play for Everton. No, that's the, that's the problem, isn't it? I know, but he doesn't though. Uh, until he does. Danny says, I don't know why some people are acting like Garner is an OAP. Fernandinho was the best defensive midfielder in the league at 35. A partnership of Garner and Decore is mobile enough to allow us to play two midfield. Something we haven't had for years. I think Garner hasn't played. I don't think that Loads. that many games. Like right, really, you know, he played for Villa and played for Everton. So he wasn't playing in Europe. Mm. Gone to Paris Saint Germain. He's, he plays plays um, played twenty games. I think last season. Yeah. So he plays some games. And when I, to be fair, when I've seen him play, seen him play Champions League games, he still looks very mobile. 
nothing different to what he was at Everton. And I think for me, I, I I'd have him back just by looking at what we've got in ours and what we're we're not looking like we're bringing anyone else in in that in that area this summer. So I'd have no problem bringing him back. Curly says, "All right, lads, going to my first game at Goodison home today. Bad Please. traffic on the way though. Southbound on the M6. So I'm worried I'll be late. Where's the best parking spot? God knows. I need I need to think of one myself to be honest." Um, Bobby says uh, the Kiev game doesn't appear to be live on the club website. It's on Dynamo Kiev's YouTube channel, I believe. No, is it? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know if it's geo blocked. Okay, I, I guess that's because it clashes with an uh, EFL fixture. Poor ruling by the authorities. Is it really? Is it really? Is that the reason? Is that really? I don't know, Bob. Bainey says back in HD, guys. At least <laughs> I know I don't need glasses now. Uh, Richie says, hi lads, did you see the official uh, site video of Dwight McNeil of Finch Farm? Were you doing a bit of moonlight and Baz giving him his medical? Swear it was you. <laughs> Wasn't me. Uh, Steve says, I've seen the time lapse video of Bramley Moore. While it's a good watch, it'd be better if there was a fixed view time lapse. Do you know if Everton have set one up? No. They were supposed to, weren't they? They're not they? doing it. Aren't they? No. no. They were supposed to. They're not doing it. Daniel said, uh, if we get Guy and Barkley followed by a striker, I'll at least feel confident about staying up. Currently, I'm not. Dan, come on, mate. Just have a little chill. Think about, look at the Premier League. Look at the Premier League. Don't be worrying about relegation. Come on. And I don't know what striker we're looking at, but I'm not sold on bros yet. Also, Evertonians need to forget the hate with Barkley. Beggars can't be choosers. Moon walks into our midfield. Okay. Um, Winks <laughs> been mentioned again, hasn't he? That's that. Harry Winks has been mentioned again. Winksy, Winksy, mm. durable, durable. You can see it, can't you? What? Well, I will. You can see it, can't you? You've not sent me anything. Oh, yeah, you have. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've just checked the Kiev. Uh, I'm gonna put a I'll put a link into in the comments. I've got the link to the game tonight, mm -hmm. but I don't know whether it's geode. So okay, uh, Dov says I love Guy, but for me it's a step in the wrong direction. He's thirty-four plus, but he's thirty-two at the moment. Um, why well, one day though he will, he be, will be thirty-four, 34 well, plus. Yeah. You got to remember mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It's on ESPN plus. Apparently, Bobby Joe says tonight. Okay, so pl three players to look out for for Kiev if they play are Tiz Gankov, Tizzy Gankov, right winger, mm. Sam. Sam Got a cold. Uh, Zabani, centre back, and Shapan Enko. Shapan Enko, attacking midfielder. They're the three to look out for tonight. None of them will play. Yeah, because they played in Champions League two days ago. <laughs> yeah, their league is starting again, though, isn't it? It's going to be starting behind closed doors, uh, which is uh, but uh, no no fans and there are bomb shelters, which is encouraging. Encouraging. Stop pressing, aren't they? But well, Finch Farm's got a got a bomb shelter, so it was built with a. Chemical. Imagine having to play though with. That, yeah, that's that horrible. Berserk, isn't it? Yeah. Um, key Vio says uh, in a summer that Winks has been mentioned, I'd take Garner every day of the week, and he'd be our best midfielder immediately. Um, the old says Batshuayi getting linked is terrifying. <laughs> every year. We've been linked with them every, every single, single year, though. Every single year. Every year. <laughs> Without is he shadow. still a Chelsea? Is he still a Chelsea player? Jesus Christ. It's in it 11 months left, isn't it? Been to Turkey, been to Palace. At one time, he looked good. We look, we were linked with him when he was fair before mm. he went to Chelsea. You know what I mean? And that was the time when you looked. He looked like a good prospect. And he went, yeah. And Chelsea just, just never, Chelsea took him and never kicked on. Was he ruined him basically by just not playing him? Mm. Um, Dennis says, "What do you thoughts on starting a Wobi at right wing back?" No, be Patterson for me all day long. But because I just think you've got to give. You've got to just let Patterson grow into that position. Um, so obviously you've got to do it if he's struggling. You, you can't just continue to leave him there, of course. But 
you got to hope that the games he's done well enough for Scotland. He had a good game at the weekend. I was only against Blackpool, but he still had, he still got to do it. We'll see. Uh, Nigel says we lost Rooney and Gravison in one summer. Favourite to go down, finish fourth. We didn't, we didn't. We didn't. Gravison we went didn't. in January, and we were, and we got our tether in, and we were fourth. Yeah, we got our. I know we, we had did. Forty points on Boxing Day. <laughs> And then we got, then we got, we got sixty one. We got, we won five games from Boxing Day till May. Classic Everton. Yeah. We got forty points Boxing Day and then went to Spurs and got beat five two. Thing he scored two. Be Crystal Palace four 0 Palace four 0 Yeah, Vorn was clever. Arteta free kick. Arteta free kick. Villa away, he was brilliant at it. Him and Osram, he beat them 3-1. He was a uh, fan dabby tastic in that. Um, yeah, Hudson Odoi available. Perfect, you should love him, didn't you? I love Hudson Odoi. Mm. He's fit, he's good. Would you on him even after the, the injury? Yeah, if you get an option on him, Yeah, yeah. Carla says pitch is much better now. What was the problem? Uh, I don't know. I think it might have been the lighting, to be honest. It was dead dark yesterday. Uh, it was dead dark yesterday, and, and we've, we've, it was probably just stuck on a setting from when we came back to America. I don't know. Um, Chris says, I know we shouldn't be bothered with what outsiders think of us, but seeing articles online about Everton being relegated next season. Um, will Frank Lampard leave Everton? Will Everton room Lampard? And the negative things said about our transfer business really gets to me. Can we not just climb out of this big hole we are in without having stuff thrown at us? Well, we're a big, we're a big story, aren't we? So, and when you've got journalists who are mainly Reds, they're gonna have a fit of free pop, innit? You can say what you want, you can have a dig. And all that. All Everton can do is just work hard, get their head down, and um, and just keep going. Isn't it? We're just this week's story, aren't we? Next John week Jones. Will be someone else. I, I've really got to take issue with this Umbridge. one. Umbridge. Umbridge with oh. this one. John Jones says we got fourth with a dodgy goalie and Lee Tsai. Oh. We had Nigel, Nigel Martin, Martin, who was unbelievable. Nigel Martin. Nigel no. Martin is the best Premier After League Neville goalie Southall, we've had. he's the best goalie we've had. Oh my God, he was unbelievable. He was. Remember the derby in Anfield? Yeah. The nil-nil. Oh my. Seven God. saves he made was unbelievable. He was unbelievable. Come on, John. Thank you. At least I didn't really play in the in the fourth season, did he? The better thing is, no. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Oh, Lee, Tide, was Lee Tide didn't play when we finished oh, fourth. Lee Tide played when we finished seventh and was very yeah. good. About four assists. Yeah. No, Lee Tide didn't play when we finished fourth. It was it was Gravison, Carsley, Kale. Kale, and then Kilvan, then Carsley, Arteta, Arteta, Osman, mm-hmm. Ozzy, uh, Marcus Bent up front. Bent, yeah. And Dunk was just a sub, wasn't he? Dunk yeah. was the, the super sub. Kind of thing. Dubs and Weir, Yobo would come in. Tony Ibbett. Mm-hmm. And left back was. Nuno. Nuno, wasn't it? And no, Nuno came in the following Gary, summer. Gary Naismith. Naismith, what was it? Naismith, yeah. Good. Nuno came in the summer we got. We, the 3 0 on Good Friday. Good Friday, yeah. yeah. We hardly ever won a game on Good Friday. And it was 3 0 up against them, yeah. Be Fulham 4 0 on a good Friday as well. And we beat Newcastle 2 0 on a good Friday. I'm a Nigel Cassidy. Martin, what a goal. Yeah. He was amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. Nigel Martin was unbelievable. Was, in the comments, everyone. Nigel Martin was, was so fantastic. So. Um, so, yeah. Does Nigel Martin in his prime start with a picture for England today? I think so. I think so. I yeah. think so. Yeah. No, he was, he was flawless, though, for us. He barely made a mistake. From Cornwall. Who? Nigel. Yeah. Um, Very nice man. I've met him. He's a really nice man. Like, don't think he quite understands. Like, 
Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. He's like he just doesn't. He, he can't, just gets on with his job, doesn't he? He just don't think he quite gets it. Mm. Sat on his tractor. Mm. <laughs> Stop it. Um, where are we up to? Right, I'll do one more refresh on mm-hmm. Premiere to see what's happening. What was the super chat from yesterday? Do we remember to... Sam said actually met Nigel a few years ago. Legend. Ned took a screenshot, I think. Did he? Well, I don't know. You asked him to take I mean, it's probably sc- in the bin then. You did ask him to take a screenshot. Pepper it over, Ned. So a thing, you Ned. Oh, yeah. Patrick Farrell said yesterday, slightly off topic, lads, but who are you thinking will finish top four this season? City and Liverpool. Nailed on. <coughs> Chelsea. Chelsea. And Spurs. Mm, I was going to say Arsenal, but I, th- I actually think Arsenal will go quite far in the Europa League. I think that's what will cost them eventually. Yeah. Don't know who you're missing well, to he might, field, he might get, Yeah, he might have, yeah. He might have. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, well. Steve Park says, greetings from a very sorry Philippines, lads. We've got big earthquakes over here. Your show picks me up. Stay safe, Steve. Um, Ollie says, you're there tonight, lads. Yes, yeah. both there. Park end. Mm. Park ending it. Full park end. Golfer says, Spurs will be third, in my opinion. May well be. May well be. No. No. Generally, just friendlies. I've sat in the park end. Although I did sit in the park end when we beat Palace four 0 Tim Kale, diamond I haven't there uh, when Dunk smashed the fella off the ball. Yeah, lines up. Yeah, yeah. I haven't sat in the park end for years. Mm. I was in the park end when Chris Waddle chipped Nev. Last time I was in the park end, we were trying to get some sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't the last time I was in the park, but... Last time I was, you know, Don't sitting some, there. Mm. <laughs> Steve-O says, it, after look at the positives with the transfer window, Burnley are selling all their players. That could easily have been us. Thank God for small mercies. We're still in the prime. They're buying players, though. They are buying, they're good, buying good talent. I mean, not... They are buying players. The, the, at the end of the day, they're buying what they need mm. and selling, selling play over... Yeah, which isn't lasting very long, is it? The Palace shoe payments are gone. Yeah, so if they get, if they, if they get them for three years, three, 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 such as Alan Velasco or Thiago Almeida. Do what? Yeah. Yeah. Not doing. Kay Cal, we want to get. It just depends on what the situation is at the club at the time. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, but if you go into MLS, yeah. There is some players we could hone in on. Uh, John Crellan says the game is tonight is definitely on Everton's home website for season ticket holders and official. Yeah, I had an email telling me it was on, so I don't know. Yeah, it'll be on. They're always on. No, on Everton's website for season ticket holders members. You yeah, yeah they're always on. All, the all the games are being on. Stewart you? says that the piv. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> JW says Freddie Adu must be in his prime now. Ugh. There you go, Freddie, you do. What a guy. Okay. What a guy. Right, we're going. So thanks for joining us. Um, enjoy the match. If you're going tonight, mm. be good. Enjoy seeing the new players. Um, yeah, and we will be back on Monday. Mm. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.